you guys would please um, hit the like button and then type in the comment section, OTVO, Overturn Terry versus Ohio. Put it right down there in the comment section real quick. Hello, officer. Oh, why are you talking to him? Why is he talking? What's the point of that? Why? why? <laughs> Wait a second. Hold on a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on. The cop's goal is to pull you over, arrest you, impound your car, and steal your money. That's what his goal is. Why are you saying hello to him? The, you only say seven words. I invoke my right to remain silent. That's it. That's all you say. I invoke my right to remain silent. Why is he saying hello? You're saying hello to somebody. Hello is a greeting. You're saying hello to someone whose goal is to arrest you. Their goal is to find something in plain sight in your car to arrest you for it. <laughs> what are you saying hello for? How you doing? How's your day going? What's your goal today, sir? Your goal is to arrest me. Oh, okay. Hey, hello. How you doing? Thanks for coming. I'm really glad you pulled me over. Thank God you're here. I, I feel really comfortable with you here. Pulled me over. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Did you think about it? Have you thought about it? Hello is a greeting. You happy to see him? Is, it, is, it, is, this, what you, is this what you plan for your day today? Just incredible to me. Hey, how you doing? You yes, sir. Hey, I'm David Perkins, up here Sheriff's Office. Reason for a stops, 82 and 75, okay? 82. Yes, sir. Oh, shoot. What? The title of this video is The Cops Pulled Me Over and Took My Gun Away. Hmm. Okay. Let's watch again. Reason for a stops, 82 and 75, okay? 82. Yes, sir. Ooh, lot of attitude there. A lot of attitude. Are you questioning that I was do the that my radar didn't clock you at eighty two? Sir, I was going eighty cruise control. Oh, dude! Title of this video is "Got Pulled Over for Speeding and They Took My Gun Away." Wow! So you know what? Telling him that you were doing eighty, you got your cruise control on. Title of the video is "Got Pulled Over for Speeding. They Took My Gun Away." He should have sat mute. Cop pulled over. The reason I pulled you over is because you were doing 87 and a 75. I plead the Fifth Amendment to remain silent. I'm, I wonder if the title of the video would be different if he had pled the Fifth. I mean, he gave, I mean, got pulled over and they took my gun away. He first had a physical reaction to the lie the cop was going to tell you. And then, and then he then questioned his honesty. And as we know, all JBTPs are honest. Every one of them. <laughs> I mean, this isn't going well for this guy. It's going downhill from right here. Of course, that's the title of the video. He didn't invoke his fifth amendment, right? 80. Yes, sir. Okay. That's still speeding. Okay. So really? Yes, sir. 75, 80. How you doing? Watch it again from the top. Hello, officer. Hey, how you doing? Yes, sir. Hey, I'm David Perkins, up here Sheriff's Office. Reason for a stops, 82 and 75, okay? 82. Yes, sir. I was going 80, cruise control. 80? Yes, sir. Okay. That's still speeding, okay? So Really? Yes, sir. 75, 80. Uh, I thought you could go, like, probably, like, five above the speed limit. No, sir. But I'm sorry about that, man. Where are you headed to? Uh, I'm actually going back home. Where's home at? Car. Okay. What? I will, but now I'm already gonna go back. Okay, fine. Just get you. Okay, so what's happened so far? What did you guys hear? Okay. Eighty-two. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Probably like five above the speed limit. No, sir. But I'm sorry about that, man. Where are you headed? Uh, he apologized for the crime that he committed. I'm actually going back home. Where are you coming from? Now he's telling him he's going back to his house, to where he lives. Where's home at? Oh man, now he told him where he lives. You know, 
police would never take anything that you do or say personally and then target you because they know where you live. That wouldn't happen, would it? That would never happen. Why are you telling them where you're going home to? Why are you telling them you're sorry? The title of the video is I got pulled over for speeding and they took my gun away. This has gone real bad. This has gone real bad. Okay. I will, but now I'm already going to go back. Okay, fine. Just get your driver's license. And then also, I'm open carry as well, sir. It's in my hip. But you need my driver's license? Yes, sir. It's in my, uh, right here. Can I get it? Yeah, it's fine. Now? Oh, my God. Probably like five above the speed limit. No, sir. But I'm sorry about that, man. Where are you headed to? I'm actually going back home. Where's home at? Far. Okay. What? I will. But now I'm already going to go back. Okay, fine. Just get your driver's license. And then also, I'm open carry as well, sir. It's okay. in my hip. But you need my driver's license? Yes, sir. It's in my, uh, right here. Can I get it? Yeah, it's fine. For sure, I got you. You're brown, Mexican, and you gave him attitude, denied that he was telling the truth when you pulled him over, and then you tell the guy that you're carrying a gun? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, maybe he hasn't seen my videos. Maybe he didn't know. I'm sorry about that, man. I Honestly, I had cruise control. Baby, I'm sorry about that. I guess it was... Uh, I don't know. You got me at 82? Yes, sir. Do you have your insurance on you? I got my insurance uh, as picture. As a picture? Can I give it to you? I mean... Oh, you got to turn his phone off. I mean, like, wrecking him done. What does that mean? There's a lot of wrecks out here. A lot of people oh, are dying. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, a lot, a lot of people are dying. Highway, so right. We, we have no... Uh, don't go more above than yeah, 75. Than what the limit is. Okay? I understand. I understand. Um, yeah, I don't want none of that to happen as well. You know what I mean? Okay, we well, going to uh, go and step out of the vehicle for me and send back there for me. Oh, snap. Hold on a minute, though. Let me show you guys one interaction here. I give it to you? I mean. So, right there. Tanya. I got my insurance uh, as picture. I'm going to give it to you. I mean. Okay, right there it is. What happened to Javier? Last video we got a Javier, he was turning off his phone to get his insurance card. Psst. What are we talking about here? What have I told you? You ha He had to turn his phone off with a jackboot thug pig who pulled him over. Then he told him he had a gun on camera. Then he turns the camera off and the cop says, gun! And he just starts shooting him. You get your registration and your proof of insurance on a laminated card. It's in your visor. You took the time to do it so you didn't have to turn your camera off. This isn't that hard. This is not difficult. This isn't that hard. There it is. This is it. Then the second thing is, I'll give you a trifold if you don't have $9. You invoke your Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. You give them this. You give them this. You give them this. There it is. Seven words you say. I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. Oh, I add fifth in there. It's eight words. Nine words, whatever, seven to nine words. I invoke the right to remain silent. I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. That's how you do it. That's the way you do it. Let's see what happens to this guy. Not going to go good. What do you mean? Like wrecking and done. What does that mean? There's a lot of wrecks out here. A lot of people oh, are dying. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. So this is a dangerous highway. So right. We, we have no... Uh, Don't go more above than yeah, 75. Than what the limit is. Now, right here, he's going to be super condescending. This guy, if you if, just pretend for a moment that that um, I, I called him Javier because it's a Latino name, Jose, or you know, we'll find out his name. But just pretend that you don't really particularly like uh, Javier or Jose's. You just don't like them. It's just inherent in you because you've seen that they're the criminals, right? Okay, and you don't like him, and you told him that your radar he was doing eighty two and a seventy five, and now look what he's going to say to you. Okay. I understand. I understand. Um, yeah, I don't want none of that to happen as well. You know what I mean? 
Okay, we're going to uh, go and step out of the vehicle for me and stand back there for me. Okay? I got you, man. If you just keep your hands up away from your firearm for me. Yeah, 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 for sure. And, uh, no, don't worry about me, man. I'm I'm cool. You know what I mean? Go and step out, man. I got you. I got you. You're going to leave the you phone? want to take your phone and record with you? For sure. I, I appreciate that, man. What the fuck? This guy is a moron. I'm sorry. <laughs> for real. I actually do appreciate that. <laughs> you were going to leave your phone? Do you want me to be right here? He's just scared now. He's got his hands up. God bless him. I'm sorry for you, brother. Yo. He didn't ask to be subjected to this. He just is responding the wrong way. Excuse me? I'm gonna take your go ahead. Go ahead. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. How are you allowing the guy to disarm you? Why do I got to be disarmed? I'm no threat to you, man. You didn't even know I had a gun. If I wanted to kill you, I would have shot you. I didn't want to kill anybody. Especially don't want to kill a cop where I go to prison or get executed. You have a carry? You have a license to carry? No, open carry, man. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's, it's, it's pretty easy. Yeah, yeah, it's not. I'll give it back to you at the end of the stop. For it's sure. Just for my safety, okay? For sure, man. Right, and what's your name, sir? Back Deputy home? Perkins, 514. Is my I appreciate that, man. Give me just a minute, okay? For sure. Take your time, man. So yeah, I got stopped. I guess I was going 82 on a 75. Uh, now you're saying on camera that he's right. Oh God. Shit, man, shit. I, I I thought you can go 80. You know what I mean? But what is what it is. You're Mexican and poor. No, you can't. Uh, he said that you can go 80, but since there's a lot of wrecks around here. Oh come on! Now you're saying his pig splaining? It's preferable to not go 80 because situations like this, you know what I mean? Because the situations that you're Mexican and poor and he targeted you? But it's understandable. It's understandable. You know what I mean? He's just doing it's not understandable. I don't agree. Doing his job, so. No, he's not just doing his job. He's being a road pirate and a tyrant. Took away your gun, your right to self-protection for his safety because he's scared. Let him do what he got to do, you know what I mean? No, I don't want to let him do what he's got to do. I'm going to change what they do. Um. Uh, We'll, we'll see. We'll see what, what's going to happen. Yeah. That's There's another cop coming. You, you got a guy with a gun? I don't know for what reason. I just literally told this guy I'm cool. But... You're a Mexican. We'll see. And you're poor. It's also fresh. It's really nice. You know, in the middle of nowhere. Right. With the license plate. Oh, dude. Hello, sir. There was no reason to pull him over. He's doing 82 in the middle of nowhere. Looks like it's Arizona. Middle of nowhere, the desert straightaways. For miles. Yeah. What is that? What, what car? What, what is that? It says uh, Upton. Upton uh, Sheriff's Department. Look that up. See where that is. Someone pop that in the chat. Upton Sheriff's Department. No, dude. I'm sure he already told you, right? I got one, man. Look at G.I. Joe loser. Look at this loser. Is he going? Are you going to war today, bro? You going to war, you think? How about what? Why he stopped you, sir? He's got two guns. <laughs> They're not running in the schools, though. This fool has two guns. Got a gun there. Got a gun there. This jackboot thug pig wears two guns. That is assault-o-matic. This shoots flies. Right there. salt o -matic. It's loaded with salt. Okay. You, I could shoot myself in the hand. It's just a salt o -matic. I shoot flies all the time if there's a fly. Fly, you die, fly. You die, okay? Imagine 
if I had two. <laughs> I need another Saltomatic. God, I need a Saltomatic. I need two of these, though. I need two. Walk around both of my saltomatics. I'm gonna walk around. Got a saltomatic here. Got a saltomatic here. Any flies come around here? I'll kill those flies. <laughs> what a jackboot thug pig! What a moron! You are the biggest. Just, just so you. I mean, just okay. Just stay with me here for a moment. In this guy's mind, in his fantasy, it's him. And there's another school shooting, but this time the cops are going to go in and he's got his two guns and he's going to go run in there. Bow, 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 bow. And he's going to save the day. That's why he has two guns. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know if we stuck you. You don't know why he's talking? Yeah. Oh, I thought that's for you to ask. No, I'm just in the middle of nowhere. I got nothing else to do. I'm bored. I heard you were stopped over here, Mexican with a gun. So I thought I'd just come on over here, see if you had, heard you had a latitude. Just checking. I mean, sure, man. I uh, appreciate that. What's your name? What's your name, sir? Robertson. Badge number, sir? Oh, yeah. For sure. I appreciate that. Huh? It's your car, man? It's my girlfriend's. Actually, sir. So I stopped recording because of uh, my memory, but the cop had asked me, if you can search the dope bag that I had in my car. And I told him no, because I basically gives him consent to search. But I told him, I was like, that way I want to like have to wait 30 minutes for a dog, maybe even 45 minutes. So I told him, I was like, look, I ain't hiding nothing. I'll show you myself the dope bag. He had to stop recording. And you guys will see the video. I'm not hiding nothing. Got nothing to hide, man. Just be patient, okay? The dope bag, right? Yeah, yeah I just want to I got you. I got you. Duffel bag. I got you. No. Pick it out for you. You know what I mean? Put it right here on the ground. No, I'm talking about. No, I'm talking about. Guys, nice talk. Got nothing but clothes. Can I go on your back? Mm, shit, I mean, I'm up. I'm going to take everything out for you? Okay, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't, it's because I'm Is giving, that real? Is that real back? It's because I'm going to give you consent to search, and I don't want to. You know what I mean? So okay. I'll take everything out just so you know I'm not hiding from nothing from you. You guys, you know what I mean? Okay, that's cool. Gotcha. Oh, that's, my God. Is that, is that real, is that real uh, Louis back? <laughs> what do you think? Hey, man, I don't know. I mean... There's a lot of face going going around, you know? Yeah, for sure. Oh my God. Is that nah, a, is that a real Louis bag leads to the next Yeah, thing? Look, I like cologne you use. Uh just a little is that awkward as hell? And this is hard to watch. This this stuff is hard to watch. He he's screwing himself in every single way. He's interacting with a pig. He's he's interacting like this person's goal isn't to arrest him. Is that a real Louis bag? Then they call in. Are there any stolen reported Louis Vuitton bags? Any Louis Vuitton bag is now the bag that he has. They described the stolen Louis bag over the phone and the officer brought him in because they had a Louis bag, impounded his car, took him to the dungeon. Then a picture surfaces that it's not the same Louis bag. So after the strip search and after he gets his sandals, the cop comes in, go, oh, we got a picture of that Louis bag. Not, you know, cop doesn't even come back. They just let you go. Got arrested. And then they say, oh, we dropped the charges. <laughs> this guy's, I mean, I've never seen something so stupid. I'm sorry this happened to you, brother, that you got assaulted this way, but you have to learn the protocols. You, you got to learn how to do it. No, 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 no. Yeah, there it is. See? Oh, oh okay. Shit, so I, it's, a, it's off brand. Shit, I don't even know, See? to be honest. See? But yeah, look, you already seen that? The cops investigating, it's an off brand. We just told you. What's in that little uh, white bag right there, man? My baby's my baby sock. <laughs> Why you got baby socks in your bag? Because this is actually my baby's bag. Okay. okay. And look, I'm, I'm, look, how I said, I'm not going to give you guys a hard time. You wanted me to, you wanted to see my bag? I usually don't let nobody search my stuff because I don't got nothing to hide. Plus, I don't do nothing illegal. I work for a living. You know what I mean? This is what I do for a living. What do you do for a living? I do videos for a living. What's your uh, What's your tag? I prefer not to say it, man. Why not? I prefer not to, but I like to be transparent. I have 130,000 subscribers on YouTube. What?
Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a second here. Hold on a second. So this this is your channel. You you you. No. Sorry, my finger's not working. No. We'll check out his channel. Okay. I have over 20 million views. Okay. He's I got do this million. Like when I get stopped. How many, so how much money do you make a year a month? I don't say none of that, my guy. Okay. But uh yeah, so how I said, I'm profet I'm being professional, man. Okay. I, well, I, let's let's you, go ahead and put that back in the car. I got you. I got you, man. But but we good, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, for sure. Right, just a bag, man. Oh, I see. It. I see a lot of dope inside those dope bags before. Oh, 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 I understand. I understand. Be right back, man. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Well, I didn't let him search it, but I showed it to him just so he knows I'm not hiding nothing. I don't want to be here for 40, 45 minutes. You know what I mean? He's just doing his job. So we're gonna go from here. We'll see what he does. And, you know, they're running down my name, the gun, and we'll go from here. We'll see what's up. But other than that, how I said, I was just going, I guess, 80 on a 75 and not doing nothing bad. So we'll, we'll see where we go from here. He said, I mean, you know, I'm going to drop, I'm going to drop the link. Can we go a little bit more over here? I want to start a discussion. That, they don't give a fuck. They be passing out hard, huh? Uh, how about where you going? I was going 80 and yeah. on a 75, but he let me know like there's a lot of wrecks out here. Yeah, I man, this is like central. Yeah. Okay, save the cops blaming nonsense here. Just the crap. I'm gonna drop the link here real quick. We're gonna keep watching this, but I want the people here who are in this chat. What I want you guys to do is go to their chat and explain to the people who complimented their friend, their fan, and God bless them. God bless. God bless him. He, he did not ask to be subjected to this. He just didn't know how to handle himself. So I put the link in the chat. I'll go to YouTube and I'll put the link in the chat so you guys can click on it. And I want you to go to the people in there who don't know. Remember, he's he's a Mexican. He has his life. So, his, I mean, I'm going to guess his fan base is probably Mexican. So, you know, we want to tell them that there is a process to – um to, to to cops and the process is you invoke your fifth amendment right to remain silent you you do it immediately that that's how you do it that's the way you roll that's how you roll <laughs> so uh, here here's the sorry, here's the link to the to the channel right here the, the video is just watching there it is now it's now you can click on it go there and tell those people that that's not how you do it at all that that's a huge mistake. That you could go to jail, you could be beaten, you be, you'll be you could die, you and you don't ever let a cop start looking through your stuff and you help him. No 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 no. The 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 comment here, you guys got to see this comment. This is just insane here. Bro, respect. Yep, just handled it to court. No use in arguing with the officer. No, friend. No. That's not at all correct. I'm sorry. Please learn, and I'll teach you. I'm try I wish ChatGPT could do it. It does it so much better than me. What? Tony Sweet Dog Walker jumped in, said, what? Never just comply. It's your civic duty to regress your grievances with this nonsense. Then use safety as an excuse to extort. You just comply is un-American. Yes, yes. 
Yes, that's right. Yeah, where's that gotten us? Whoa. No, bro. No. The field is not the courtroom. Comply and live and fight. No. No. No, friend. I'm going to try to chat GPT this. I'm sorry. Please learn your rights and and watch the review I just did of this video. God bless. Only love. There you go. That it's only two dimensional words here. I should, uh, you know, I mean, okay, cool. Tony, yeah, I like Tony Sweet. I would, I, I, I want to tell, I want to, you know, I, I didn't tell this guy. Boom, boom. Yes. This guy's come join us. Team DLZ. Come join us, buddy. That's crazy. I actually didn't know that. What's that, man? Okay, you can back in the car, man, if you want. All right, for sure. I'm, I'm pretty cold, actually, so yeah, I would do that. But. All right, man, you have a good day. Hey, you too. Before you guys start saying, you let them surge. Before I start saying that, I already been saying that, bruh. <laughs> woo woo. Actually, like, how I say it. I'm far from home, you know what I mean? I'd oh, yeah. So give up your rights, bro. Just trying to get home. Yeah, yeah. You just bend over and take it up the backside. You get home. Uh, fuck the bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Just give away my rights because I don't want to deal with it. <sighs> it's cold out here, too. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how the fuck these cops run out here. They run the same everywhere. You can stand on your rights anywhere. Some can be crooked. They're all crooked. So I ain't trying to get through that, but. You didn't get through it. You almost got arrested. He checked the label of your bag, had it come back a different bag. They probably would have arrested you and said they got a report of a stolen Louis bag. He's bringing my gun. He's bringing my gun. And we'll go from here. Oh, thank God. Thank God for him that he's got my gun. I'm glad he has it. Cool. Right, Mr. Lopez. Like I said, man, it's just gonna be it's gonna be a warning, okay, for you. Oh, just a warning. I just wanted to search you and go through your shit and bug you. Hey, 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 man. I appreciate that for real, for real. I appreciate you, and, and, you and appreciate I own that? speed. I'll go seventy five. Right, so here's your driver. So you have to drive exactly seventy five when nobody else does. Everybody else does eighty or eighty five. I do. Everybody else does. You can't do that though. You gotta fist bump the guy. Did you just fist bump this dude? Right, Mr. Lopez. Like I said, man, it's just gonna be—it's gonna be a warning, okay, for your hey, speed. Hey, hey, man. I'm not fit. <laughs> no, no. Do not endorse your tyranny. Do not endorse your tyranny. Do not fist bump cops who pull you over. No, 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 no. <laughs> Invoke your Fifth Amendment right to remain silent immediately, and then stand mute or explain to the phone that he's violating my constitutional rights. I've invoked my fifth amendment that goes around as qualified immunity because every cop swore an oath to uphold the constitution. I invoke my fifth amendment right to remain silent. Well, just tell me where you're coming from. He keeps going. I invoke my fifth amendment right to remain silent. There's no fist bumps in there, bruh. There's no fist bumping going on. You're a road pirate. You're dog shit. You pulled me over and said that a lot of people die on this road. You were doing 82 in a 75. You kill people, bro. <laughs> you got to listen to what I'm telling you. Their goal is to arrest 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 you and take you to the dungeon. <laughs> That's their whole goal. I swear to you on my old Catholic faith, I'm now like non-denominational, just more like a God guy, right? So um, you did this wrong, brother. You got a huge channel. I'm sorry if I was rough in the comments to a couple people. I'm not very good on two-dimensional stuff. I'm sorry this happened to you, brother. I guarantee you're probably going to see this Team DLZ is going to swarm your freaking comment section. So, like, don't take it personal, man. 
I'm sorry if I offended you. I'm just really honest. And you got to invoke your fifth amendment, right? To remain silent, brother, fellow creator, fellow, fellow uh, filmer. God bless you, man. I'm sorry this happened to you. Just so, I mean, just to be on the record, he never asked to be pulled over. He never asked. He was doing 82. He wasn't even doing 85. And he said he was sorry and that he would just do 75 from now on. <laughs> I just, just, oh, rip my face off with, oh my God, dude. Why? I appreciate that for real. I don't know if this bumpy's appreciating them. For real. Don't worry. And, and, and I, I won't speed. I'll go 75. Right, here's, so here's your driver's license. Copy the warning, okay? Yes, sir. Um, I appreciate you giving me a warning for real, for real, because any cop would just give me a ticket. You know what I mean? Well, I get you, man. So you, what are you talking I'm leave your about? Firearm. He targeted you, dude. He pulled you over because you're Mexican in a decent car because you got a little bit of money from YouTube. You can put it down there if you want. You can open. If yeah. You can open the door and put you it down. Can just put it in my hand. You can just put my gun back in my freaking hand. I have no intention on shooting you or anybody else, anywhere at any time ever, throughout the history of my the rest of my existence. I pray to God that I do believe is in heaven. I pray to God I never have to use my gun. Dear God in heaven, please. Make it so I never have to use my gun. Please, I don't ever want to shoot anybody, ever. So you could just put my gun in my hand. <laughs> I'm going to put it on the floorboard, okay? Yes, sir. And uh, once I clear from here, you can grab it and put it back on your, on your hip, okay, man? I appreciate it. Listen to that freaking... Down there if you want. You, could open, yeah. if you can open the door and put it... Listen to what this pig says. Listen to the jackboot thug pig. I'm going to put it on the floorboard, okay? Yes, sir. And uh, once I clear from here, you can grab it and put it back on your on your. I'm going to put it on your floorboard once I clear from here. You can't have a gun on you around me because I'm scared. You don't put your, don't touch your gun till I'm clear. You couldn't open carry in my presence for my safety because you having a gun is dangerous for me, but me having a gun is not dangerous for you. What a freaking pig. What a pig. What a disgusting culture of officer safety from Terry versus Ohio that has been created in our country. Their entire training regiment, everything is based on officer safety because of Terry versus Ohio. That is, the Supreme Court gave them a, a, a lip to stand on. And now that they can stand on it, they have a, built an entire castle, an entire, hum, an entire new arm. They had a leg, a little tip, officer safety. I can do these things because of officer safety. They've built your, an entire new... Hip, okay, man? I appreciate that, man. You appreciate that? Put the door and put it down there. If that's I'm going to put it on the floorboard, okay? Yes, sir. And uh, once I clear from here, you can grab it and put it back on your, on your hip, I'll, okay, man? I appreciate that, man. I'll just put it in your glove box. I'm, I'm curious, because I need to take a piss. You, okay. can't, you can't piss, right, on the side of the road? No. If someone complains, you could get in trouble. I, think it's, I, I don't think it's going to fit. Freaking ridiculous. He's asking him if he can go pee. You wait till that pig drives away. And you pull over and you pee on the side of the road in the desert. <laughs> okay, I'll just put it on the floorboard. Man. Yeah, you can put it under the seat if that makes you feel better. Nah, it's okay, man. All right, for sure. Um, but just put it in my freaking hand. Yeah, I can't tell you where to use the restroom, but if you can find a safe location, that's cool. You gotta ask him where you can pee, bro. I got you. Hey, I appreciate you not giving me a ticket, man, because I'm not from here, you know what I mean? You have a good day. Okay? You too. And before you guys start saying, like, you let them search your back, I didn't let them search nothing. I showed it to him, so it won't escalate. Like, it won't escalate. I didn't want him, you know, I don't know how far their station is from here, but uh, I didn't want to wait for a dog 30 minutes. You don't have to wait for a dog. If they pull you over and they go to extend the stop, 
That's Rodriguez versus United States specifically. Sorry, it's dark in here. I can't see. So right here, I smell marijuana, cop extending the stop right here. If he pulls you over on the side of the road, friend, fellow, fellow creator, if he pulls you over on the side of the road right here, it's right in your trifold. It says it. Cops cannot extend the stop without probable cause or reasonable articulable suspicion of a crime. You having a bag in the back of your car as you travel is not reasonable suspicion because they find other Louis Vuitton bags in there. If the cop tries to extend the stop and you don't have to sit there for 30 minutes, if he tries to extend the stop, inform him of the law. Hey, we just sit tight. We're going to get a drug dog out here. Put it in his hand. Show him Rodriguez versus United States. You never have to speak the words on the page. If he says, hey, just sit tight real quick. I'm, we're getting a drug dog come out here. Show it to him. Show him it. Rodriguez versus United States. And then show it to the camera. And then if you want to be so bold to say, I'm showing this to your honor because he's extending the stop. He's informing he's extending the stop to get a drug dog out here. And if he does, I'm going to sue him. I bet you let I bet it lets you go. But let's see what else this guy does. And then there's some dogs that will just jump on your car and then they're gonna But he's going on the premise already that he that he was gonna extend the stop for 30 minutes, which is incorrect. Search your car another 30 minutes. So I told him, I was like, you know what? And I'm sure you guys seen the video. Um, I'll show you my bag that way you know not how then he tried to pretend like your Louis Vuitton bag could have been stolen if it was real. Because those bags are about what three grand? I did nothing. And, and you got a decent car, but you're still Mexican. And as you know, they they believe you Mexicans are the thieves. You know, he named Jose is the one who would steal that Louis Vuitton bag. I mean, and look, lucky for me, everything went smooth. I didn't have to worry about. Everything went smooth. You had to break yourself. Other dog, I didn't have to worry about. Just submit. Harassment. That cop, though? That was harassment. Let me look in your stuff. Did you ask to look in his stuff? That was harassment. You had to go through all your shit in front of some dude. Who then asked you what was in your baby's socks? He did look a little skeptical to me. You know what I mean? <laughs> he looked a little skeptical to you, brother. <laughs> he was trying to find a way to arrest you, bro. But. I kept it a buck with him. To go to me, you know what I mean? But I kept it a buck with him. Talk a buck? Hold on, like, don't make it hard for me. I'm not going to make it hard for you. He made it hard for you. Simple as that. Simple as that. You know what I mean? I'm going to show you the bag. And that's that, you know what I mean? No, that's not that. It was more than that. He checked the label of the bag. To see if it was a real Louis Vuitton bag. He checked the label of the bag. That's exactly what happened. That is what happened. He tried to find a way to arrest you and you helped him do it. You know? So, it is what it is? No. It is not is what it is. We do not accept things as status quo. We do not break ourselves for the state. You do not bend over and take it up the rear end. You do not comply to what some jackboot thug pig is trying to do to you, which is arrest you and take you to a dungeon. Now, for those that got to say stuff, I ain't even trip. Oh, no, I'm afraid, my friend, when people see this and your people see this, you will trip a little bit. And you should. You really should, bro. And, and as respectfully and as nice as I can say, I hope you learn something from this. I hope you get a trifold. And I'll, I'll give you one for free. I'm going to ship him one. Someone find me his address. I'll ship him one for free.
before he even sees this. Well, he'll, he'll see it soon. Because you guys don't go through this? I yes, we all go through it, bro. We all go through it. I'm the one that goes through this. You know, we, Dude, you are not an island. No man is an island entire of itself. I mean, so I react a certain way with the wrong way. Everybody, because everybody's different. No, they're not. They're all the same. Their goal is to arrest you, impound your car, and steal your money. I say different things with everybody because everybody's different. No, you don't. You say the exact same thing to the jackboot thug pig. I plead my Fifth Amendment to remain silent. If you guys don't know, and if you guys are new to this channel, go. I'm new to the channel, brother. I'm sorry this happened to you. I'm sorry we're meeting in this way. I'm fucking hardcore, dude. But I love you, dude. I actually care. He tried to arrest you. You don't know that? You didn't watch the video back? Check my videos. Off. We're going to check your videos right after this, homie. <laughs> check my videos. You're going to see different encounters. You're going to see... Really? Different. Everything. I don't answer questions. It can be cops. It can be anything. Like, I, it all depends the situation. And in this situation, that first cop... With people? Yes. It all depends the situation. With police who have pulled you over with probable cause that you admitted to doing 80 and a 75, you admitted it, and then you did not invoke your Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. There it is. It's right there. That's, that's, that's it. It's the most powerful tool I can give you. That's it. That's the most powerful thing I can give you, homie. So someone get me his address. I'll ship him. I'll ship him 10. I'll give him 10 so he can give out nine to people. I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent from the get-go and from the all-go, all the way-go. You have your license, your registration, and your proof of insurance on a laminated card, ready to go. And if you don't, if you want to put a photocopy of your license, a photocopy of this, that's fine. And then you have your real license. When you get in the car, you just put it right in the rubber band. It's a nice, thick broccoli wad rubber band. You stick your license right in there because that's your real registration. That's your real proof of insurance. That's how you prepare yourself. Like he said, this doesn't happen to you. Yes, it does. It happens to all of us. All of us go through this. Every last one of us is a target for them to arrest us, impound our car, and steal our money. So you're, you're just so not alone at all whatsoever. You are not alone. It was okay. You know what I mean? All right. What is what it is? Waste cops. It can be anything. Like, I. It all depends the situation. And in this situation, that first cop was okay. You know what I mean? All right. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Pulled you over for doing 82 and a 75. He wasn't okay. That was a dick move. All right, what is what it is. He wants to, for his own safety, you know, in reality, I don't have to get off the car, but. No. Wrong again. You do have to get out of the car. Pennsylvania versus Mims, 1977, says that you have to get out of the car. I didn't want them to make it difficult on me. They made it very difficult on you. So, for example, I got off, you know, I get, uh, he got the gun from my hip. They disarmed you. He told me as well. He's like, you can take your phone to record as well. You forgot your phone. When you got out of the car with guns involved. Which is a big green light for me. Not that any cop would say that. So A big green light for me. You should have brought the camera to begin with, bro. So to me, I was like, okay, like that's cool. You know what I mean? If he wants to run down my gun, he wants to make sure everything's legal. By all means, go ahead. No. 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 Absolutely not. No. No. He shouldn't have known you had a gun if you didn't see it. 
You should have never told him. Should have never been a thing at all whatsoever. You immediately should have invoked your Fifth Amendment right to remain silent immediately. Immediately. You know how fast, you know, how, I mean, how, how'd that start off? What time frame are we at now? We're at, uh, because he's letting me even get off of my phone. Where you headed? So, Hello, officer. Hey, how you doing? Yes, sir. Hey, I'm David Perkins, up here Sheriff's Office. Reason for a stops, 82 and 75, okay? okay. 82 and a 75, okay? Back up, which is good. You know what I mean? Like, you just never know what you're going to encounter in these situations. Just came out of nowhere. He was like, okay, like, that's cool. You know what I mean? If he wants to run down my gun, he wants to make sure everything's legal, by all means, go ahead. No. Because he's letting me even get off of my phone. Not every cop does that. Not every cop lets you get out with your phone? Well, then you make sure that you get that video to an attorney and you file a civil rights lawsuit against him. You can get out with your phone. They can't stop you from recording. You you can you can be a member of the press. They can't take your phone away from you. And if they do, you can sue them. They have no right to take your phone. They have no right to seize your property. But other cops view it some type of way. You know what I mean? But that's the, the reason I acted the way I acted. Because, Brother, you acted the way you acted because no one has taught you. Because they don't teach this in school. And you don't understand that you put yourself in the most vicarious position you possibly could have put yourself in. You don't understand what their goal is. You don't want to believe that that is their goal, but it is. They want to arrest you. They believe that you are a drug dealer, that you have some drugs in your bag, down to don't looking inside of your baby's socks. They want to arrest you. That's their goal. It's not as though I want to be some plastic cardboard, have my license registration, and then put my trifold in their face and say, I plead the Fifth Amendment. That's where we are. That's where the, the Supreme Court has created this system for us. Oligarchs who want to control the people have created this system of oppression. And you got caught in it and you didn't know what to do. That's why you said what you said. And that's why you did what you did. It was a royal, royal mistake. And God bless him that he's still alive. He told a jackboot thug pig, that he has a gun on his leg. What? He said he seemed cool. Now this other cop. What? He just came out of nowhere. Now he had somebody stopped way back there. So this guy stopped me and then obviously he's coming and he passed by, I guess, for backup, which is good. You know what I mean? Like you just never know what you're gonna encounter in these situations. You just never know. And we are people are so dangerous for cops. You never know what you're gonna encounter, and you need to justify that we're all treated like we're mass murderers, that we all are carrying a bazooka, and that we all can't wait to get in a gunfight with a cop. So cops go through a lot of stuff. Cops are putting America through a total police state, prison state, death state. The number one fear that this gentleman has when he drives down the road are the police. He's justifying the police state. And it is what it is or doing the It is not is what it is. I said that when I was young. I'm middle-aged now. I'm not old yet. I said that when I was young. It is what it is. I thought I was really cool when I said it too. I thought that was the truth. It is what it is. I thought that. I believe that. It is what it is. The sky is blue. It is what it is. Agree with that. We live in a total police state. It is what it is. No, it is not what it is. And we can change it through using our constitution and a peon getting into executive power and showing that we can create a secured place without a total police state, prison state, death state, without dungeons. We can cure the society. 
But it starts with this jackboot thug pig mentality and law enforcing mentality being wiped out. And any justification of this tyrannical police state, prison state, needs to be met with hostile aggression and it needs to be smacked down. What the f are you talking about, my brother? Good job. If you want to know what's on the double back. Other than that, if you guys are new to this channel and you guys like to watch videos like this to learn whatever you guys want to, you know, see. You taught us everything, brother. You taught us a lot about exactly what not to do. E, to give it a thumbs up. And comment what you guys think. Subscribe. Turn on the post notifications right next to the subscribe button. That way, every single time I post a video, you guys get notified. Got first. Okay, let's see what he's got first. Let's see what he's got. Make sure I subscribed. I thought I did already. That's fine. Let's see what he's got here. Let's take a look at his. Let's let's take a look at his channel. Let's see what he's got cooking over here. So. Lifetime views. Border Patrol checkpoint, they touched my gun. So this guy goes through, this is what he does. Th this is crazy. So he gets pulled over all the time and he doesn't know what to do. Let's change this man's life. He gets pulled over all the time. He's got a kind of, his car's okay. I mean, it looks like it's got some problems. He gets pulled over all the time. He doesn't know what to do. This is a, this is. Boom. There it is. Wrong. Wrong. You give him your license, registration, and proof of insurance, and then you don't say another word unless he starts asking you more stuff. He told you what he's going to cite you for. There's nothing more to say. You guys hear it? Did you guys hear it? Listen to it again. He tells him exactly what he's going to cite him for. Listen, he tells him, here's what I'm going to steal your money for. You're driving down the road. You've done nothing. You've hurt nobody. But here's how I'm going to steal your money. He tells you what tickets you're getting. You say he doesn't have a front license plate and that his windshield is tinted. That's what he's going to give him tickets for. Nothing you're going to say that's going to change his mind. Something you could say could take you to jail, though. This is a uh, this is see through, specifically for my eyes. You know what I mean? Yeah. You have like a prescription for it, or I I don't right now, but I'm working on that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now, I hate to say it. I hate to say it. He fits the description. He fits the description. Could be a hashtag, if you ask me. I could see that face going through a hashtag. I hope it doesn't. For the love of God, he gets pulled over all the time. Yeah, I was I was seeing that you were like following me and stuff like that. Can I check right here? Like follow now. Oh snap! He's got to reach down. He's got to reach. He's got to reach below the steering wheel. Can I check right here. Yeah, follow me. Bang, 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 dead. Yeah, like following me because there, there was a there was there was there was a there was a car. I don't have it, but I have a big this guy has to memory problems. I mean yeah. okay, so fail. Sorry, brother. I'm sorry. Both fail. Let's let's do it again. His most popular video checkpoint refusal border patrol. Checkpoint refusal. I got pulled over and this happened. Let's check this one out. I don't know why I got stopped. He, stopped. So he said, I don't know. He just said, I don't know why I got stopped. I better go caps. Let me help you.
I did a pretty ugly little, you know what I mean, in here, but let's see why he's going to stop. Let's see what you say. Let, let, let's see. What, he's probably going to rattle off what he's charging him with and going to give him tickets for right away. No. Texas Highway Patrol. Look at the Texas Highway Patrol wearing that big ass mask. Can't even see who the guy is. The reason for the stop is you don't have a front license plate. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't. He admits it. Yeah, I do. Now he's got to reach down and away from the cop who's now going to be peering into his glove box. Maybe he left a pipe in there. Maybe he didn't. The reason why you don't have a driver's license. So I, uh, I just. Now he's answering questions. Now he's answering questions. What in the world, brother? What in the world? My brother, what are you doing? What are you doing, dude? I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. Here's my license and registration. That's it. Proof of insurance. That's it. Nothing more. No need to say goodbye. No need to say hello. No need to fist bump. No need to be friends. He came up there and told you what he's going to charge you with. No need to answer why you don't have a front license plate. Give me the ticket. There's no point. He's going to give you the ticket. There's no point. There's nothing you're going to say or do that's going to talk him out of this moment. <laughs> he was hoping this would happen. <laughs> he was looking forward to this moment right now all day long. He was like, man, I haven't pulled anybody over all day. And <laughs> couldn't wait to pull you over, dude. And he found some Mexican. He got you. I just bought this car not that long ago. Okay. Why, do you, why are you telling him? Who cares? Nobody cares how long ago you bought the car, bro. Nobody cares. He doesn't care. He just wants to find a reason to arrest you. You, what, why are you talking to him? I don't understand. And uh, so I barely, I bought it from Arkansas, right? This is my driver. Who cares where you bought it from? You're just giving him reasonable, articulable suspicion that you're telling him a car story that really the car's probably stolen. Why are you telling him all this information about your car and where you bought it? And uh, so I barely, can I take off my seatbelt? No, it's fine. Let's can I take off my seatbelt? I'm going to get my insurance over here. Is there any weapons in the vehicle? Nah, I don't got any weapons. Why are you answering questions? Dude, what's, what's, what the, what the hell is going on here? Okay. Right. Now you got to reach across and no, it's fine. Right. now you got to ask permission to reach. Ask permission to take your seatbelt off. Ask permission to reach. Permission, permission, permission. What did you say you bought the vehicle from? So our now you're talking about now he's curious. You said you bought the vehicle from somewhere. Why are you telling him any of this? Arkansas, right? Arkansas? Yeah. And uh so this this is I barely paid for my insurance, but I'll give you the right insurance if you want. Oh God. Oh my freaking God. It's not just that you're you know you're incriminating yourself and you're gonna get a ticket. It's that you're reaching across the car into the glove box. He can kill you and say he thought you were going for a gun. You happen to be on camera, but you're still dead. Maybe the cop goes to prison because you caught it on camera. That'd be great for, you know, the movement that it was caught on camera. That we now you prove the Jack Boo Thug pigs are just killing people, but we already know that. Why don't you have your driver's license, registration, and proof of insurance in a laminated card? Why don't you have it done? Why don't you? Are you freaking kidding me? I, I, I can do this all day. <laughs> people are who who hate me today will love me tomorrow when it happens to you and you didn't prepare yourself. This guy is so lucky he's not dead. He's not prepared. Bro. Bro. Do you think he'll prepare now? Like, do you, I mean, if he watches this video, do you think he'll create? Seriously, put a one in the chat. No, put, put a one in the chat if you think he will. Put a two in the chat if you think he won't. Bro, the, my bro here. What's his name? I don't know his name, but... What's it called? Um, Where are you coming from? The casino. How'd it go? Now he told him he's going to a casino. <laughs> Wait a second. 
that was there alcohol at the casino? There sure is alcohol. He, next question is you've been drinking? It was all right. All right. Yeah, it was all right. Lose or win money? Yeah. He's not your friend. He wants to arrest you, bro. It was all right, you know? <laughs> where are you headed to now? Oh, man. Where were you? Where are you going? My crib. Now he's telling him he's going to his house. Is your address on your driver's license? To work? My house. Uh, you're from here, from Eagle Pass? You from here? Of course. Yes, sir. Now he knows he's from around there. Maybe he has other relatives who are criminals, too. How's your day going? What? 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 <laughs> How's his day going? He's got a talker. He's so happy. He's going to keep talking, keep being a nice, friendly guy to you, try to rope you in. So you say something. Gives him reasonable suspicion. Ask you to step out of the car, turn around, put your hands behind your back, torture cuffs. I mean, I don't know how much more wrong this could be going. Uh, it's been good so far. I'm almost out. He's doing exactly what he wants to do. Oh, so. Hell yeah. Yeah, so what's it called? The reason I haven't put on the license, front license space is because I have to drill holes to it. You know what yeah. I mean? And it, it don't have the holes, so that's why. Because they just created a law that you have to have a front license plate so they can track everybody, whether you're coming or going. Uh, you don't even have the frame? Yeah, I got. If you're just going one way and you go by, then they can't license plate read you. If you're just going through town and there's no front license plate, well, then they can't put the license plate readers up to track you. They're called fleet cameras. No, no, not the frame. Like, the frame. plastic? Yes, sir. Yeah, no, I don't got that. I usually recommend, I know there's people that don't want to bolt it in. Now he's going to tell them how to, how to comply to the state. I recommend zip ties. Zip ties. Zip ties up there. Yeah. That way you have your license plate. On the yeah, he's, he's a Mexican. He wants to put zip ties on his license plate. Can't wait to do it like that. The Mexicans I know, I got one of my one of my friends is Mexicans, one of my best friends. He's got his Bronco, and he love. I mean, I mean, you if you told him to put zip ties on his plate, bro. Yes, okay. Oh, oh, oh! What's it called? How many is that from today? Or what? That, uh, my ticket. Yes, sir. Nah, this, so this is this is a warning, man. Oh, yeah, <laughs> There you, go. you you were trying to get me for something else, right? Yeah. Uh, well, I can't I can't find my license plate, but if you want, you can check with the plate, man. I got insurance. Insurance? Yeah. You know what insurance you have? He doesn't have his insurance card on him. He's not prepared at all. Uh, Amax. Amax. Yeah. Now now he's got to trust the pig. What if the pig doesn't find it? Okay. Is the vehicle registered to you? Yeah, it's registered to me. What year is it? It's a he can look on the registration. <laughs> This is just horrible. This is the worst video I've ever seen. All these videos, are, this is, is all, everything I've seen him do is, it, and he's got thousands of followers and people are going to think that this is, I mean, he's, he's a cool guy for sure, but this is the wrong way in every single way. There's nothing he's doing right. He hasn't done anything right at all. He's done a horrible job and every bro. I gotta be more nice because I know people are gonna bro. It's a 09. 09? Yeah. Okay. The cop, hold on, the cop can't look on, on the on the computer and see it's an 09. He's questioning him to see if he knows the year of his own car. Because if he doesn't know the year of his own car, then he can say, Oh, that gives me reasonable suspicion. Can you step out of the car, please? As you guys know, uh, my car got stolen in Denver. Then I'm, I'm driving a different car. If you ask me what the year is, what if it's not my car and I don't remember? What if it is my car and I just got it and my other car was stolen and I don't remember what year I got? What if I say the wrong year? What if I say it's a 2018? It's a 2018 Honda and this car's not that. What if it's not that? And I just make a brain error because I'm under pressure. He's asking me what year the car is. I don't really remember. But I don't want to not answer because I've already started a conversation. I thought he's my friend. <laughs> 
said you have your license plate at home or where is it at? So, yeah, my license plate is at home. Why does he care? He's just going on and on about a license plate. He doesn't have it. It's not on the front. Get the ticket. He's he's trying to loop him in. No, I barely got the – I barely – uh I have all the paperwork here. I barely put the – what's it called? The, oh, you're recording? The car, the car under my name. Yeah, I'm recording for my own safety because I've been okay. harassed, you know, by a lot of you guys. Yeah. No, that's fine. <laughs> I know everybody's different, but, you know. That, that wasn't the best thing to say. The best thing to say is I have a YouTube channel with 10 million views. That would have been the best thing to say. Yeah. I get you. Hell yeah. Uh, is everything current with the third license? Everything's fine, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, Mr. Lopez. Man. His name's Lopez. God bless you, Mr. Lopez. If I just stop for the no front plate, it'll be a ring warning for that, okay? Appreciate it, man. I'll bring it back with you. Yeah, for sure. The ticket is a warning no matter what. It's always a warning. You have to go get it fixed. The warning says on it, if you don't, you got to pay and you can get your registration suspended. Yeah, I was used to get, I mean, if you don't want to bolt it in or put a frame. Now he's going to listen to this guy tell him how to put a license plate on. Get some zip ties and put it on the grill. I mean, what the fuck is he even talking about? I'm not putting zip ties on my front of my car. What the hell is he even saying? On the bottom one, the top one. The top one. I know it's not going to He's taking it. Yeah. I mean, meanwhile, you get your frame off. Yeah, for sure. The frame you're talking about, the plastic thing, right? Yeah, they usually give that at the dealership. Okay, so I, I got this from a private seller. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I didn't I didn't get that. The back one, it came with the back one. That's why I put the back plate, you know what I mean? But this one, how I said, I have to drill some holes and stuff like that. Yeah. So I just I haven't had time to do none of that, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, like I said, if you want to put some zip ties on there, perhaps. Yeah, yeah, for uh, sure. I don't promise you that you won't get stopped anymore because you don't have a front license. No, no, yeah, for sure. I understand. Uh, I'll be right back. For sure, man. At this point, he's just doing his job, you know what I mean? Oh, so, God. It's understandable, you know, no. straight or whatever. No, it's not. Hopefully, hopefully everything's straight. Dude, okay, hold on a second. He just went through a full inquisition of this man for not having a front license plate. It was a full inquisition. Where do you live? Where are you from? Where are you coming from? everything what year is the car he did a full inquisition to see if this guy would step on himself in any question he happens to be ca calm and cool as ice that's the thing about him he's calm and cool and at the same time kind of a little like defiant at the same time but breaks himself completely right and he allows this cop to pepper him with question after question after question after question nothing about that was cool the whole thing was cringe for me and knowing how many people have died who reach across, reach in the glove box, reach back, reach into the center console. Like it's real, dude. Like it's no joke. I got a wall of dudes who are dead and a few women on there too who are dead that literally did absolutely freaking nothing. Zero. They did nothing wrong to be killed. It's, it's so real when you know the stories as well as I know their stories and what happened with them and how they were murdered and how the cop never faced justice and how some of these cops killed multiple people who they told a story of someone who reached and they killed him and there was no gun found. And I, I, obviously you can tell if I go into their stories when I remember their faces and their names – I have a severe emotional reaction that I have to just take a time out because it's so real. And unfortunately, I have a near photographic memory. And so I remember things that I cannot forget. And so everything this guy did from beginning to end is wrong and it's still wrong and I'm done. So we're done. If you guys want to reach out to him and let him know that I'll be more than happy to teach him how to do this properly 
his Instagram, his business, whatever you guys want to do. You know, I don't want, I mean, he already may see this video, whatever. He's nice. He's probably a great dude. Let's take a look a little bit about him just real fast. And uh, let's just take a look at him real quick and see what he is about, what he puts in his about page. And, you know, what's up? Posting legendary races and videos. Make sure you all comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell button. Probably a really cool guy, you know, probably a really cool person, you know. This was mandatory. This is something that had nothing to do with that. Good YouTube, it's your boy from the Chris back at it with another video. What's up, nah, we're about to do some little maintenance things to the car. Oh, cool. I just got this box a couple minutes ago, but uh, big shout out to FCP Euro. They came in clutch, got here at the exact same time they said it was going to get here. So yeah, in this box, we just got a couple of little maintenance things. You know, we got to do some maintenance before we actually go to the car. The belt was already pretty messed up. And we'll see right now whenever we open the engine bay. We take the other one out. I'm going to do it myself. It would be um, really, really sad to ever have to come back to his channel and memorialize him because he was reaching in a glove box and he didn't realize that that can of oil that's shaped as a you know a can of oil is you stick the oil in and uh he that was down there in the floorboard but at night the can of oil over with the rag over the top of it it was wet and the outline of the rag with the can of oil made it look like the tip of the bottle of oil that you stick into the car it, the outline of it at night with the flashlight, he's reaching across and the cop didn't know, but he looked down, he saw the point of a barrel of a gun and he was reaching. And so that's why he died. That's why Mr. Lopez died because he had a bottle of oil in the front seat and the floorboard that had a rag over it that got wet. And the tip of it, when it was wet, looked like a gun under a rag. And so they take a picture of that and then they show that to the jury and the cop is never, there's never, the, 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 I mean, show it to the DA. And then the DA just never convenes a grand jury. The DA never convenes a grand jury. Do you understand that? We've seen it. And then Mr. Lopez is dead. You're dead. All right. All right. Because he had to reach. Because he had to reach across. And just the turn of fate was that he had his... Uh, he had his um, – that you didn't have it done right. You didn't have it put together okay. So there it is. You got to have it done right. You have to have your license, registration, and proof of insurance put together on a laminated card so that you don't reach across the uh, the car to get the, uh, the thing. So there it is. There it is. It's tough. Sense memory, baby. Sense memory. So um, – Sense memory is an, a, an acting technique um, that you learn in a theory called Strasberg. Strasberg wrote a book about sense memory, and I, of course, read the book. <laughs> um, an actor prepares. That was Meisner's book. Um, Strasberg's book is uh, – he wrote several books. But the point is – um, sense memory, in case you guys don't know what it is, is what an actor uses and what they do is to get to an emotional place, they will remember something from their past that they experienced that, that brings them to that moment. So if you wanted to feel joy and jubilation, perhaps you would tap into a day, say your birthday, your 27th birthday and your best friend through your surprise party and you went out on a boat and you guys went jet skiing all day and you tap into that moment deep enough and quick enough. And pretty soon when you start to read the lines, when you're acting a script, that joyous moment that you're reenacting in your mind as you read the lines, there the character has been created. This is the act of being a thespian, an actor. So for me personally, the sense memory, the memories that I have when I tap into those memories, whether I like it or not, 
sense memory takes me to a place that whether I enjoy it or not, <laughs> whether I want to be able to be in control of it or not, it will tap into something that I remember that is so freaking horrific that it affects me emotionally. So there's nothing I can do about it. There's nothing I can do about it. So I'm just going to be the, do the best I can. <laughs>